Taranaki, famous for its mountain, Paul Tito, and its slogan, Taranaki like no other. Remember that detail as it may come up later in the story. But most recently, the region has been embroiled in scandal. It lost the rights to its own slogan, Taranaki like no other. Just like I mentioned before, what a satisfying payoff. The problem started when the Like No Other trademark expired and was purchased by Sarah Lee, a person, not the Cheesecake Company. It was one of the weirdest stories I'd ever heard. What sort of strange person buys a trademark to a council slogan? And is Taranaki Like No Other even a slogan worth trademarking? I travelled to Taranaki and organised an exclusive interview with the woman at the centre of the fiasco, Sarah Lee right after I ate this piece of cheesecake made by Pam's. The supermarket had run out of Sara Lee on the day we were shooting. Kyle said it would compromise the joke, but I think it created an even more satisfying payoff. Where did the story begin? Well, it actually began when I was doing a video for the region called Step Up Taranaki. So I was going through the process of doing this video, poking around on the website, and I found that um, Bench Taranaki had forgotten to renew their trademark for Taranaki like no other. My mum and dad were looking for a birthday present for me, so they bought it for my birthday. Yeah, that's, that's, that's weird. That is weird. Don't act like I'm the weird one. You're the weird <laughs> one here. You know, I've, at least I've protected the region. And as I've always said, it's better Sarah Lee from Taranaki than Sarah Lee from China. Because Sarah Lee from China, if she'd bought it, we'd be in big doodos. Because there's one thing we know about Chinese people, they're targeting small town New Zealand trademarks of council slogans. Yes. I couldn't understand it. Sara Lee was dead serious. She loved the region, she wanted to make a video, and was genuinely worried that foreign interests were going to buy its trademark. I hit the streets of Taranaki to find out if anyone else gave a toss about this crappy slogan. What is the slogan of Taranaki? Taranaki like no other. Taranaki like no other. Drink more milk. Drink more milk? Why would it be drink more milk? I don't know, I never drink this stuff myself. Do you like the slogan, like no other? Yeah, no, I do. I love it. You love it? Yeah. Why do you feel so passionate about the slogan? Because it's a primo name. Because we're better than most. Are you? Yeah. We have WOMAD, we have the lights. The lights? Are... You've got some lights. i got lights in my house. Come to my house, you'll be blown away. The wind wand. Is yeah. that a wind wand, is it? Yeah, it's bloody wicked, eh? It's just a big stick. I know. What's the features of the wind wand? Fuck, I don't know actually, bro. I actually don't know. Well, I know it's a freaking wind wand that stands so high that it goes like this. Wee! <laughs> <laughs> Got the best park in the world here. That's a big claim. What makes it the best park in the world? Well, there's no one there, so it's not crowded. If good it's so lake, good, look out. why is there no one there? See my lawyer, and he is the bomb, man. He always gets me out of trouble. I got arrested this morning, so yeah. You seem quite proud of it. Fuck. No, I'm actually not, but I'm having a fucking mean day today, so yeah. <laughs> Getting arrested is bad. Well, is that's it? bad, but other than that, my day was fucking wicked. OK. okay. <laughs> Just finishing my day. You're finishing your day? Yeah. It's 11.46. Oh, yeah, I need to go to sleep. So what, what if I told you the rights, the slogan, Taranaki like no other, had lapsed, which means other towns could use it? Well, we'll just go and bash them. No, no, no you can't. Can, you can. <laughs> oh, wow. Where'd you get that information from? From a lady named Sarah Lee. Oh, like the cheesecake. Like, yeah, the cheesecake brand, but also she's a concerned citizen who loves this town. Oh, come on. I like cheesecake. Does she actually make cheesecake? No, 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 no. no. no she has nothing to do with cheesecake. Oh, okay. Are you envisioning some sort of like half woman, half cheesecake situation? I think so. <laughs> you, I don't know what you're talking about, cheesecake. I was shocked. Everyone in Taranaki seemed to love their slogan and thought it was important to protect it. I was wrong about Sarah Lee. She wasn't a weirdo, she was a hero. But if she was the hero, then who was the villain? So now the um, council wants the slogan back. Yeah, well, I've given them the slogan back. You've yeah. given them the slogan back? Yeah. There was no point. I wasn't going to go into a legal fight costing thousands of dollars. That's not, that wasn't my aim. Did they celebrate you for that? No. In fact, they didn't even pay me my 300 bucks. They didn't give you your $300 for the slogan? No. The villain was the New Plymouth District Council. They forced Sarah Lee to give the slogan back, and they didn't even give her her $300 in return. I promise that I'm going to go to council, give them a piece of my mind. I will do everything in my powers to get your $300 back. That's Guy Williams' guarantee. Oh, Guy Williams won. I know it's going to happen. Why do you seem sceptical? No, I think it's brilliant. I You're feel like man. you don't believe in me. No, I totally believe in you. The more you talk like this, oh, I totally believe in you, the more sarcastic you sound. You can do whatever you want to do. Yeah, I can. Yeah, you can. Yeah, I can. You're the man. Uh, uh, yeah, I am. You are the man. I gave Sarah a Guy Williams guarantee. I was going to get her $300 back. 
This was a classic David vs Goliath, where Sarah was the good one and the council was the bad one. I knew which team I was on, the good one. So I went to confront the bad one, New Plymouth District Councillor, Murray Chong. That is the biggest computer that I've ever seen in my life. No second measures here. Do you think you might need glasses? Oh yeah, I've got glasses, but why wear them? Well you'd wear them so you can read the computer screen. Don't need to with a TV that size. Yeah, but you would need a TV screen smaller if you had glasses. That's why I've got a bigger TV. Yeah, no, but if you had glasses, you could use a smaller screen. That's right, that's right. Okay, so what's happened is the council has lost rights to its own name for its own area. Yeah, it's not the council. The council didn't know about it. It was the uh, trust they fund, Venture Taranaki. So you're passing the blame? No, no, not passing the blame at all. So that you're literally passing the blame to the, the trust? That's right, but we don't run the trust. Yeah, so you're passing the blame to them? That's right, yeah. So you are passing the blame? Mm. Okay, so Venture Taranaki stuffed up. Yeah, I just all they did is they didn't renew the trademark of their byline of their whole business. And a private citizen bought it. That's right, yes. So I, I was informed that it was up. Why isn't the council buy it? They didn't know it was lapsed. You not lapsed? Yes, that's you right. You are the council. That's right. I've got no control of what Venture Taranaki does or do. You could have gone and told them. That's right, but it was mainly to teach them a lesson. So you're the council, the council controls Venture Taranaki, and you're like, I want to teach those bastards a lesson. Mm. As a councillor, did you learn that lesson? I think so, yeah, yeah. This, you, this is a bit of a mindfuck, eh? <laughs> Welcome to my world. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm in your world and it's a terrifying place. I couldn't tell if Murray was on the council's team or Sarah Lee's team, and I still didn't know who to blame or how to get Sarah's $300 back. I needed clarification, so I went over Murray's head to the most senior and longest serving councillor in the New Plymouth region, John McLeod. Are you the guy from TV back in the day? Yes, I am that guy. There can only be one. I am the one. One. Blue. One. How the fuck did you become a councillor? <laughs> I've been on our council nearly 12 years 12 now. 12 years? Yep. Is, is New Plymouth Council a bit weird? It's not weird, it's uh, made up of a whole different facets of very different people sitting around the council table. New Plymouth District Council was legendary for its diversity, featuring as many as two women. So where did the dream team go wrong? The council, you guys, lost the rights to the name of your own region. Yeah, that we did actually, and um, Sarah informed the council actually. You are the council by the way, you realise this, eh? Yeah. Yeah, you're literally a councillor. Yes, I am. Okay. So yeah. the council's to blame. The council's to blame. And the council is you. And the council is me. <laughs> councillor Horse was insane, but two things were clear. One, the New Plymouth District Council was weird, and two, they want to pass the blame to their regional development agency, Venture Taranaki. So that's where I went next. This was my last chance to get Sarah Lee her $300 back. Um, nice to meet you. I'm Guy Williams. I'm from a TV show called New Zealand Today. Yeah, so we're not wanting to kind of... Um... Disaster! Venture Taranaki refused to speak on camera, but rest assured, I grilled them as hard as I could. If, if you don't want to talk, that's totally fine. Oh, they wouldn't crack. Random aside, we've got some um, taxidermy collection. Elvis Presley Museum. We've got a collection of horse ornaments. OK. I left with some great recommendations for local tourist attractions, but no admission of guilt and no $300. I was devastated, as demonstrated by this dramatic walking away from camera shot. I knew I couldn't return to Sarah Lee empty-handed. With my back against the wall, that's when I remembered why this whole debacle started. Because Sarah wanted to make a video to promote Taranaki. That was a detail mentioned earlier. I was doing a video for the region. Another satisfying payoff. If I couldn't get the $300 back, I would give Sarah Lee $300 of my time, two weeks work, to make a promotional video for the region that she loved. Using my award eligible skills, we shot the best video that $300 could buy. And after four days of shooting and three weeks of editing, I returned to Sarah Lee nervous, but hopeful. I've got good news and bad news. Yeah. Which one do you want first? I'll, I'll take the good news. OK, I was planning on saying bad the news. bad news first. All right, OK, I'll take the bad news. OK, well, yeah. the bad news is I went to the council yeah. and I haven't been able to get your $300 back. Right. 
not surprised. While I can't give you monetary reparations, mm. I can give you my talent to write and produce a um, ad for Taranaki. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. That's wicked. Yeah. Okay. Hey, if you're thinking about going somewhere, why not consider Taranaki? There's a lot to do here, foreshore, visit the mountain, beautiful cafes here. Don't forget Sarah Lee and her great cheesecakes. We've got kebabs, we've got sushi, Subway and KFC and McDonald's. I'm at a loss. Another thing I like about Taranaki is the wait, beaches. Wait, wait, Kyle, Kyle, fucking get your head up there. Okay, all right. Come to Taranaki, we got the win one. Wee! <laughs> We're a great park, but very popular because nobody comes to it, so please don't come to it. THC, motherfucker! Taranaki is like no other. We can't use that because of copyright reasons. Taranaki is like other similar places, but it's just not the same. Taranaki is like other similar places, but it's just not the same. <laughs> I love it. You love it? I love it. Do you, do you actually love it? Oh, it's probably one of the worst things I've ever... Sarah Lee loved the video. I had closed the case and learned some valuable lessons along the way. Don't make Guy Williams guarantees you can't keep. And whatever lesson Murray learned after he taught himself a lesson. But most importantly, that Taranaki was an amazing place. And no matter who owned the slogan, it truly was like no other. I guess you could say that's the most satisfying payoff of them all. Guy Williams, New Zealand Today.